Okay, now we have um, the same topic, really, except this time they can accept decimal answers. If they're telling you that you're going to end up with decimal answers, chances are you're not going to have complex numbers, okay? Um, so in this case, once we plug everything into the radical, if they want decimal answers, I am totally allowed to plug everything into my calculator, and it will spit out the decimal value, okay? You just have to be careful with what you type in there, okay? So let's first um, identify our values. Now, be careful. Notice that this one is not set up in the correct form to identify the A, the B, and the C. It must be in the form AX squared plus BX plus C the zero. Not necessarily pluses, right? Because if B and C are negative, then these wouldn't be pluses. They would be minus signs. But what's important is that all three of your terms are on the left-hand side and there is nothing on the right hand side. What's also important is that it is in descending order, starting with your squared term, then your x term, then finally your constant. This equation here is not in that form. So we will have to minus seven on both sides so that we have nothing left on the right hand side as necessary. And so now we have the quadratic in the correct form to identify the AC so that we can plug it into the formula. So here A is positive 3, B is positive 3, and C is negative 7. So when I plug it into the formula, I get negative 3 plus or minus 3 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 7 all over 2 times 3. Now when I type in 3 squared minus 4 times 3 times negative 7, I end up with 93 over 6. So remember, there's two answers here, one with a plus, one with a minus. And both of these I will need to enter into the calculator in order to get the decimal versions. So I'm going to hit the fraction button first, negative 3 plus square root of 93 over 6. And let's hit the double arrow so that it can give us the decimal value. The directions do say round to the nearest tenth, so make sure you're paying attention. So this is the tenth, 0 is not going to affect that 1. So this is approximately 1.1. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to type in negative 3 minus square root of 93 over 6. Double arrow again, and we get negative 2.1. Again, that 0 is not going to affect the 1. And these are the two solutions that they want inside Alex. So similarly, we're going to do the same thing for this problem, except this problem has two issues. Two terms are on the wrong side. So we're going to minus x on both sides and minus 4 on both sides. We end up with 4x squared minus x minus 4 equal to 0. Which means my a value is equal to 4. My b value is a little bit tricky here. It is a negative 1. And my c value is negative 4. So let's plug it into the formula. Do make sure when you're using the formula that that bar is underneath everything in the top. You don't want to cut your bar short and then it looks like just the square root is over the denominator, okay? The whole entire thing is over the 2a. Let's see what that is inside the radical. Negative 1 squared minus 4 times 4 times negative 4, we get 65. So then we have 1 plus square root of 65 over 8, 1 minus square root of 65 over 8, and let's put that in the calculator. We get 1.1, the 3 is not enough to make this one go up.
and this 8 is enough to make that go up so we get zero, negative 0 0.9. Okay, not too bad. Now let's see what happens if we solve an equation using the quadratic formula, but it'll have complex roots. So that what that means is when I do the square root part, I might have a negative inside. So we're going to do the same thing as before. Identify our a, b, and c, and plug it into the formula. So let's see what we get inside that parentheses. We get negative 75. Now all you need to remember is you do have to simplify this square root before you split the fraction. So remember, the negative will come out as an i. And then the square root of 75 actually simplifies. So it's actually 5i square root of 3 over 6. And if I separate the fraction, I get 1 half plus or minus. Um, this cannot reduce. You cannot reduce a 3 and a 6 because this is inside the radical that is not. But the 5 and 6 do not reduce. So it literally stays 5 squared root of 3 over 6. And then we write the i on the side according to the format. Um, a plus B I that we always have to write complex numbers in okay and again if Alex does not have the plus or minus button you do have to separate this into its two expressions so you would have this as one expression and then you would have this other one as the second expression and both are your answers okay so now let's try the same thing with another problem there may be some more um, simplifying going on here I'm not sure just yet but we shall find out so a is hidden it's 1 right B is negative 5 and C is positive 13 so we plug it all into the formula And we get negative 27. Remember, the negative will come out as an i. And square root of 27 does simplify. I believe it is 3 square root of 3, but we shall see. Yes. So 3i square root of 3, because the i is also outside. And then we would separate it. And this does not simplify, and this does not simplify. So we have our two answers, plus 3 square root of 3 over 2 with the i on the side, and 5 over 2 minus 3 square root of 3 over 2 with the i on the side.